Hey guys, good morning. It is Wednesday, May the, the 30th. The 30th, yes. Um, and uh, it's super early in the morning. Um, sorry, my dogs keep bouncing around on the bed. But oh my gosh, I stepped on the scale this morning and I'm at 212 pounds. I am two pounds away from my ultimate goal. Keep in mind, I know I say this like a thousand times a week, but keep in mind that my official weigh-ins are on Friday. So this could just be a fluke, but it's still super exciting for me um, to be two pounds away from my first goal. Uh, I'm really, really super excited by that. And... Um, I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm really, really happy with that. Uh, so yesterday, I went for a run. Um, it sucked. I don't know if it was because of the heat. Oh, man, I'm breaking out again. I don't know if it was because of the heat or if it was just because of me, but it was an awful run. I was super duper slow. I'm actually quite surprised that I even was able to finish it because I was just, like, not into it at all. Um, but I did finish it at a very, very, very slow... Okay, hello, Bella. Hello, Bella. Yes, we all see you. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> um, I did finish at a very super duper duper slow pace. So, um, I, I guess at least I finished it, right? Um, but as far as, um... Everything else goes. On Monday, I was feeling like utter crap, and I did try to exercise, but it was like, okay, I guess I should give you a little bit of background. On Monday, we had like a heat advisory thing going on, and it was like 36 degrees Celsius. It was really, really, really hot, and I don't know if it was the heat or if it was because of like, um, I was just really, really tired or what. But I felt really, really sick. Um, my stomach, like, I was nauseous and um, I had like a tummy ache and everything. And so on Monday, I just, I had no interest in eating. Uh, I pretty much laid on the couch all day. I did try to work out, but like halfway through the workout, I felt like I was going to pass out. I was so dizzy and everything. So... Um, I decided to stop and it's very possible that I could have had like, um, what's the word? Heat stroke from the day before because we went to Wonderland on Sunday. Um, but I don't know for sure. Like it's just, it's a possibility. And so anyways, on Monday I, just, I, I didn't do like anything. Um, I hardly ate. I hardly, I just drank water and laid on the couch pretty much the entire day as far as everything else goes like I've been eating really well yesterday I had a really bad craving for a freaking nutty bar but I didn't cave into it and I apologize for my hair I was like I look like a bag lady I don't know what happened I had nice curls yesterday like last night when I went to bed and then I woke up this morning and like it's curly on the root part and then super duper straight on the bottom I don't know what the heck happened uh joys of being my hair I guess but yeah um I've been eating really good I didn't cave in into the into the cravings last night even though I really 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 wanted to um I won't I'm hoping that um I can maintain this 212 at least or even lose a little bit more by Friday I still have another I guess two days technically to go until I do my official weigh-in and measurements and I am really super excited. Um, I feel really good. Like, really, really good. Um, yesterday I had a lot of energy. Uh, I, I don't know how to quite explain it. But, like, yeah, yesterday, even though, like, I did my run and everything, I felt like I could do... I, and I told you guys, like, I, I during my run I felt like I was super slow and I was really really slow like I didn't go half as far as I've gone in previous runs but I felt like when I got home that I could do more you know like I felt like I could maybe do a Shelly Joe's video and I haven't felt like that before so that was pretty cool um but yeah I don't think there's anything else I really want to say I uh I still have two more days and I will update you guys if there's anything new that I need to tell you so I hope you all have a fantastic day. See you. 
Hey guys, good morning. It is Friday, June 1st. I just did my um, weigh-in. Uh, I am at 211.5 and that means I've lost 2.5 pounds because I was 214 last week. So 2.5 pounds this week and I lost a total of 1.75 inches. Now, I just do want to say that, um, so we moved our bedroom around and I did have a system for measuring like around my both thighs and it was pretty, it was really good because I would use the floorboards as markers for my feet and now that we've moved the bed around I can't do that anymore. So one of my measurements I am switching from around both thighs to just a single thigh. Um, so um, yeah, that's obviously not counted in this measurement because I do think I've lost some weight in my thighs. Um, because one pair of shorts that I have used to be really, really tight around my legs and they're not anymore. Um, another thing that I do want to mention that is a pretty big deal is, um, my wedding ring and my engagement ring are now, well, my wedding ring is way too loose. I can't wear it without putting my wedding, like, if you see here, my wedding ring is way, way too loose. And I have to have it so my engagement ring is put on after it. Um, and also, too, my engagement ring for, like, the past, geez, I want to say four years or so, has been so tight that I have to usually take it off at nighttime because it makes indentations in my finger. And sometimes it makes my finger go numb. And um, I've noticed for the past week that I haven't had to do that anymore because it actually fits properly. It's actually getting to the point where... Um, I have to be careful because when my hands are wet, it will slip off. So, oh, my alarm. So, that is pretty cool, to say the least. And I'm actually really excited about that. Um, another thing that I do want to say is, like, this week I am going to have to go and go through all my clothes. Because, I think I've said this before, that I have, like... I have like a very limited budget and I can't just go and buy clothes every single time I go down a size. So I try to make my clothes last as long as I possibly can. So I buy things that are like like tank tops that are tighter, tighter to the skin instead of loose and shorts that have loops so I can wear a belt so I can wear them down for a couple sizes at least and other things like that and dresses. Dresses you know you can if a dress is a little bit big it's kind of seems like it's what's in style lately because I've seen some girls wear very, very, very big dresses and they look freaking awesome in them. But anyways, um, my point is, is I'm, I'm trying to buy clothes that can last a couple different sizes that go down. Even my bathing suit has adjustable things, so though I'll have to replace the bottoms, but the top, I can wear it for a few sizes that I go down. Anyways, my point of saying this is, is, um, a lot of my shirts are like hanging off of me and I really need to go buy new shirts. Um, for example, the shirt I wore yesterday, excuse me, um, it's like a flowered shirt. Uh, I don't think I, I don't think I wore it in the video. I think I was wearing my exercise shirt. Um, I love that shirt, but it is to the point now where it is so big that it's hanging down and you can see my bra, like the bra band over here and my boobs are hanging out and everything it's not very flattering at all and um it's just it's too big it's t it's time to let it go um now I do I do want to say like I'm not ready to throw away all my clothes yet because you just never know uh so I've been putting it away and I'm going to keep it until I have the weight lo weight gone for at least a year and I maintain it for a year is what I mean and then I'll throw it away because I just don't want to be that person who loses all the weight, gains it right back and then I have nothing to wear. I don't I don't want that, that to happen. I don't have the money to go out and just buy clothes all the time especially if I'm, I've already been this size. So I have no intention of gaining this weight back but I've said that before. But anyways. Um, so yeah, I, everything, I do keep everything in my one of my closets and I plan on doing that again still. So this weekend, my, one of my chores is to go through my clothes and get rid of things that are too big. 
short form. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that, that, that is kind of exciting. Like, I I do think that's pretty cool to know that I am one and a half pounds away from my ultimate goal, and um, not ultimate goal. Sorry, my first goal, and I am able to start getting rid of some shirts. I've already gotten rid of some shorts, but this is the first time I've gotten had to get rid of shirts. Um, I don't think there's anything else I want to say. Uh, today is going to be a leg workout day with Shelly Dose. Yesterday's workout was friggin' intense. Uh, I will be doing that one again because it was hard, but very, very good. And I felt good after it. It was long and, um, I don't know, I just, I really enjoyed that workout. And I think it would, like, I felt, I felt the workout, I guess you could say. Whereas sometimes you don't feel the workout and you don't feel like you've worked out so you go and do something else and then you overdo it and blah blah blah. But anyways, um, so yeah, uh, today is a leg workout day. Um, I'm not really looking forward to it because any leg workout that I do sucks. It just utterly sucks. I hate leg workouts. Um, but I gotta do it. I can't just do my upper body and not my legs. And yeah. I don't think there's anything else I really want to say. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed the video that I finally uploaded. I suck at uploading. I know you guys know that already, but I finally up uploaded a video. Um, I'm going to get all the shit that I have on my phone now uploaded to the computer soon so that I can start working on the next one because um, these are quite long clips that I've been doing lately and yeah. Like, even this one here is seven minutes, so I'm going to let you go. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day, and bye-bye. Hey, guys. Cheyenne here, and we are back with another video. Another video. I am sorry. I'm tired. I really am. Uh, last night, I went and visited my brother. We played some zombies, some magic cards, and whatnot, and I am beat. I didn't get home until 1.30, and I got a total of maybe six hours sleep, so yeah, I'm pretty tired. And my eye, this eye keeps twitching like crazy, and it's driving me insane. It's been going on for a week now. But anyways, um, it is Monday, June 4th. Um, this past weekend was actually pretty decent. Excuse me, I got... I got a lot of gas today. It's ridiculous. Um, I, I ate really well, but I did I did treat myself to some ice cream yesterday and on Friday. Um, but other than that, I did really really well. And I do apologize with the the shading. I just I can't help it in this car. It's just the way it is. Like that's a little bit better, I guess. Um, so today it is a miserable day, and um. Like, it, it's been raining all weekend, and just, it's not very nice weather, so I'm not, definitely not going to go for a run, which I don't usually go for runs on, on Mondays anyways, but I just, I'm just saying, I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to go for a run. I'm not going to be able to go for a run at all this week until probably at least Thursday, and even then, I don't know if it's going to actually dry up by then. Um, we're supposed to get rain until Tuesday night, Wednesday it's supposed to be sunny with a chance of rain, and then Thursday is supposed to be sunny and cloudy. And Friday is supposed to be really sunny and cloudy, so we're probably going to do Wonderland on Friday, Friday after this thing is oil change. Um, but anyways, uh, as, uh, as far as my as everything else is going, um, I, again, again, I ate well this weekend. I man managed to maintain my weight as uh, at around 211. Well, it fluctuated day by day from 211 to 2. Uh, 12 so that's roughly where I've been all weekend today. I stepped on the scale. I was 211.5 again um, I feel really good yesterday. I went for a very long very fast walk with my brother and I feel really good today um, I don't like I don't I don't know what workout to do today because frankly I'm tired and I want to get my workout in and I am all ready to get my workout in but I, I, I don't know what to do so I think I'm just gonna do like a strength only one and that's it but I also kind of want to do a cardio thing as well because maybe I'll get my energy up like my house is a disaster today like I got mountains of dishes yes from yesterday that I didn't do yesterday because it was just too hot in my kitchen to do it and 
I have to do my floors and my kids left the entire house a mess yesterday. Like when mom's not here, the house is fair game. So I got lots of work to do. Plus my husband's home today. So we all know how much that adds on when, when they're home. Um, but yeah, so like I have a lot to do today, so I would like to get my energy picked up. So I don't want to burn myself out. But at the same time, I'm I'm wondering if maybe the cardio will wake me up a little bit. I don't know. Like, who knows, right? Until after I'm actually done the the workout. I know I'm not going to be doing another 45 minute workout like I did on Friday. Like that workout killed me, but it was an awesome workout. Um, I don't know. Is it, I I I keep forgetting to turn my music down. Um. I don't think there's anything else I really need to say. Um, no, I don't think there's anything else I really need to say today. It's been a pretty uneventful uh, weekend as far as everything goes. Like, I didn't work out except for, like, walking yesterday all weekend long. Um, so, I guess, I guess there's that. Like, I don't typically do a workout on the weekends because I'm doing so much running, running around. Like, I'm doing... I, I know that I said I'm going to do runs on Saturdays, but frankly, when the, everybody's home and stuff, it's usually just so hectic, and we either have Wonderland that we're going to, or I have all the shopping to go to, and then yesterday, I ended, like, for Saturday, we ended up doing a yard sale at my parents' house, which was a lot of work, and then Sunday, with my the walk with my brother, which was a very long, very fast walk, and was a good workout in its own. Like, I, it's all stuff that, um kind of adds up I think and keeps it keeps it so that like I am at least being active I guess but I don't actually formally work out on weekends and I probably should at least do one of the days but as far as I'm concerned like as as of right now until it's, it's winter time I don't know if I'm gonna get a workout in on Saturday or Sunday it's just, I'm just too busy uh too busy uh being a family person so um yeah, I'm going to leave the site here. I hope you guys are having a good day, and I will see you later. Hey, guys. Um, it is June the 13th, which is Wednesday. Um, I haven't filmed in a very long time. I don't even think I filmed my progress on last Friday, so if I didn't, I will post the things here. Um, I'm, I've been feeling very discouraged for the past week or so. I think about, about a week. Um, since last Thursday, I want to say is when I, like, this whole started. Um, I haven't been able to break through to, uh, 210 yet. Like, I haven't been able to break that at all. I'm floating between 211 and 212, so around there, just keeps going back and forth. And I'm feeling unmotivated by all the workout, um, workout videos that I used to really really like from Shelly Dose and I still do really like them I just I, I don't know I've, I haven't been feeling very motivated by them and running hasn't been interesting me so I had to change things up so I started running with my dog um, she's very lazy and it took a little bit to get her to actually want to run but I started running with her so I did start week five of the C25 K and it basically that is five minutes on and I believe it's three minutes walking and then five minutes on three minutes walking five minutes on again of running and um, I am really enjoying that again uh, it's fun running with her because uh, she kind of keeps you keeps me a little bit motivated and um, I think part of the reason is the heat it's been really really hot the past couple weeks and it's just starting to take its toll on me but yeah so I started running I've been doing it at night time because it's just been too hot during the day and I don't want to hurt my dog. So we do it at night time. And um, as far as like actually working out, um, I didn't do it for like three, four days. Uh, I just, Friday I didn't work out. Had the kids home from school, did a little bit of walking and stuff like that, but nothing like a non-actual workout. I just didn't have any motivation to do it. I wasn't interested in doing it. Monday, no, in no interest, but I ran. Uh, Tuesday I ran I didn't actually do any workouts or anything like that um, like I want to but I have zero motivation to do it so I do what I always do when I have no motivation I turn to Jillian Michaels and I know that's a controversial opinion because not a lot of people like Jillian Michaels but I don't know what it is about her workouts but they kind of make me want to work out again or I don't know I think it's because she pisses me off so bad that I just I want to I want to actually work out 
I don't know. But anyways, I pulled out the 30 day shred today. I really wanted to do my no more trouble zones, but the DVD stopped working, so I can't use that anymore. I'm going to have to buy a new one. Um, but I pulled that out. I did that workout. I, it, I don't know why, but it was freaking difficult. I don't ever remember it being that difficult. Maybe it's just because I haven't worked out for a couple days, but holy crap. So I think for the next little bit, I'm going to switch between um, the 30 day shred level one and the ripped in 30 level one. Switch between them each day and then keep doing my runs when I want to do them. I don't think I'm going to be able to run today because it's been raining off and on. But yeah, I just wanted to give you that update. I like, I don't get it. I like for the past, I want to say it started Thursday. I just, I, I feel no motivation. And then getting on the scale on Friday and, and only going down a half a pound um, and losing absolutely no inches every, anywhere on my body, which could be just user error, but still, it just, it, uh, it just, it really sucked. So, I kind of fell into this, like, little blah for the past couple of days and haven't been filming, haven't been doing anything and just kind of contemplating on what I want to do next. I really debated on joining um, a local boot camp and I'm still debating on that. I might still do that. It's just, I don't know. Like I want to do it. I just have this thing with um, working out with people and working around people and I, I'm very competitive and sometimes that is a good thing and then other times it's not because I push myself too hard and then I don't end up going back. That's pretty much that. So. Oh, my hair is so annoying today. It's like, I had a loaded reaction yesterday because uh, I ha I'm like very sensitive to grass and the grass was cut yesterday and I've been itchy. My face with had hives yesterday. I took allergy medicine, but I've been so itchy. My skin's itchy. My head's itchy. I hate it. I'm totally off topic, but yeah. Um, I, I don't know what to do. I'm just feeling very, very, very unmotivated. I hope... I don't think I will, but I hope that this week will be a little bit better. I'm still waiting on my period, which is also re could be a reason why my weight is fluctuating and hasn't gone down. Um, but like, like I know that they don't consider it a stall or a plateau or whatever you want to call it, unless it's been like six weeks. But it just I don't know. I just I I haven't really been happy with myself. I don't feel stronger. I don't feel better. Uh, I tried some clothes on last Friday with my kids and I was very disappointed in that. Although I did get one shirt that I really do like. I just, it, it's, not, it's quite tight right now so I have to lose some more weight for it to fit properly. But I don't know. I don't know what to say. I just, I feel kind of blah about this whole thing right now. And I'm hoping that it's not going to be like that forever. I hope that I can get out of this. That's why I'm really hoping that on Friday, maybe I'll get another like pound or two off and maybe I'll start feeling better again. I don't know. We'll see. I really, really want to hit 210 by J July 20th though. Like I really, really do. I, it's like over a month away and I've been working so hard at it. I really want to hit 210. I would love to be less than that, but I would really want to hit 210. And it's just like, it's taunting me. It's really, really taunting me. So, um... Fingers crossed that I can hit that soon. So I will see you guys later. Hey guys, Cheyenne here. It is Friday, June 15th. Um, it is like 9.30 a.m. Oh, I was wondering what that banging is. The neighbor next door is doing the roof or something. Anyways, um, it is 9.30 a.m. and I measured myself and weighed myself this morning despite not wanting to step on the scale at all. Um, I just wasn't looking forward to that number on the scale. I, I, I had a really bad feeling and I was 210. I made my first goal that I set for July 20th and I'm officially 210 pounds. I still have a long ways to go, but I've met my first goal and I'm sorry, I'm a sweaty mess, but I am so happy. Even though it's only one pound difference from last week. It's it's hard to explain like how how much more this motivates me than anything else. I just 
I haven't seen this number in, geez, three years now, and it, I can't I can't express in words how much this how happy this makes me feel. I I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time. Um, when I started this this I set this goal purposely for my sister-in-law's wedding and just so I wouldn't feel like such a whale and I finally met that goal and it's really really exciting um it's I I think it's just it's what I needed this week because I all week I've felt like just giving up I felt like I was done with this I felt like you know nothing was working I didn't feel stronger I was doing the doing the um the Jillian Michaels workouts and doing my runs and everything like that and everything was just not working the way I was hoping it to I didn't feel stronger I didn't wasn't I didn't feel like I was going faster I didn't feel like my endurance was better I just I didn't feel it I didn't feel this week at all I didn't feel last week or the week before that either but I didn't feel this week at all and I, I was almost at that point of just honestly quitting I really was felt like deleting every kind of video that I posted about this. I felt like just being done with it. I really, really did. And I think that if I hopped on that scale this morning and it was higher than... If I didn't get hit that 210 this morning, is what I'm trying to say. If I didn't hit that 210 this morning, I think that it would. this would be it. I would have been, I would have been done because... I just, I needed that. I really needed that 210 to keep going. I really did. And even though my goal was set for July 20th, it just, when you're so close to something yet so far away, like I was at 211, 212 for the past two weeks and I was so close to hitting that 210, but it just felt so far away because every single day I would be fluctuating between 211. I'd get down to 211 again and then I'd be back up to 212 the next day. And I, and I guess this is the problem with weighing yourself daily. And the whole reason why I'm doing this, I, I know I've said this to you guys before, is just it's something my doctor has asked me to do for menstrual cycle reasons and other reasons as well. But anyways, um, I feel like, I feel like, um, I feel like weighing myself every day is just putting a damper on my mind and I really want to stop doing it. But, I can't yet, I can't yet, I'm still going. So, once this whole thing with my period is done and I'm done weighing myself for that, then that's it, I'm not, I'm not weighing myself every single day because it's just putting me in an awful mindset. So anyways, let's move on for that. I am really, really happy. I lost two, I lost one pound and I lost two and a half inches over my entire body. I have switched my measure, measurements from around both thighs are just doing single thigh now um, because I wasn't I wasn't lo losing any inches even though my feet were in the same spot I wasn't losing any inches and I think it's just because that's my natural um, stance I guess you'd say so yeah I've started to do individual thighs um, oh, there, what else do I want to say as far as clothing wise goes, like I haven't really noticed any difference at all for that in the past couple weeks. Um, I, I am still wearing a size 16. I could probably wear a size 14 if I really, really wanted to, but comfortability wise, I wear a size 16 in, in shorts. And for shirts, I'm wearing anywhere between an XL to a 1X depending on the fit of the clothing um, because every brand has their own special sizing parameters. So, yeah. Um, as far as eating goes, I've been eating really well. Um, last weekend I did have a bag of candy, not like the entire bag, but I shared a bag of candy with my husband. But, other than that, I did really, really good with eating this week, I think, in my opinion. Um, I could probably lay off of, because I have iced coffees made with milk every single day. I could probably lay off that and that would help, but milk is like very minimal calories there. I believe... I believe I calculated it out to um, like 50 calories, so it shouldn't be that bad. It shouldn't be hurting me that much. So I don't know. We'll figure that out in a bit. But um, workouts have been good. Eating has been good. Clothing, there's been no change. Oh, 
as with my runs though, I do want to mention that week five has been really, really, really surprisingly well. I didn't look ahead to see that on week five, day two, um, it's no longer five minutes, walk, five minutes, walk, five minutes. It's eight minutes, walk, eight minutes. And I was, I didn't realize that. And I just kept going and going and going. And I thought my, my phone was actually done. Like my phone died or something. And yeah, it was, I was running for eight minutes and that was kind of exciting. Minor detail, but exciting. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to leave that at this because it's probably super boring. I'm going to obviously have my measurements around here somewhere for you guys to see if you are curious. Um, it probably was later or earlier, but whatever. I forgot to say that. Um, I'm going to relax for a minute because I just walked my daughter to school and back. I'm going to relax for a minute and then I'm going to do my workout and then I'm going to do groceries and all that fun stuff. So I am hoping you guys all have a fantastic day and bye-bye.